Okay, the first thing we've done is I've just parted her hair just on an angle. You can part it on the side, but I like this because it looks like a side part, but it gives both sides equal hair. So then I just turn her around and I've curled the bottom of her hair because we clearly have lots of time. You can do whatever you wish. I just give it a quick brush through. So I'm gonna turn her around. I'm just gonna pick up this little corner right here, close to her part. And it's a twist, so I'm splitting it in half. And then I'm gonna start twisting up. And I'll twist it around one full time before I pick up hair. And then I'm just gonna pick up a small section and I'm just gonna bring my finger right to the hair and incorporate that in and grab it. And I'm only bringing hair up from the bottom when I do this. And this is going to be angled towards the middle of the back of her head. So I twist it over and continue. Part hair off with my pinky up to the point where the hair that I'm twisting is and just twist it. And as I'm going, I am angling it down. Pick up the next piece. And you wanna try and keep this hair here smooth. It doesn't have to be super smooth, but as much as you can. And then just continue. Keeping this tight and close to her head. You see, I'm just combing these little bumps in with my fingers as I go. <laughs> and I'm right here, I'm in the middle of her head. It's right here in the middle. So I'm just pulling in that last part. Then I'm just going to twist this around a few times to keep it tight and to keep it in place. And then I'm actually going to have her hold this. I'm twisting it down far enough so there will be some something for her to hold on to. I'm going to have her hold this over here so we can put this in. Okay. Then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Put your head up smooth. And this is the majority of her hair in the front, so you want to be a little more particular about what that looks like. A little smoother. Work right, around one whole time. Bring my hair up. Twist it in. I'm not twisting these separately, I'm just wrapping them around each other. Okay, I'm almost to the middle. And then I'm just gonna take this last section, if you can see it, right there in the middle. And I'm just gonna incorporate that into my last twist. Okay, after I've got that part in and I've got it tight, I'm gonna twist this a little bit. I'm gonna grab this other section. I'm just gonna kind of twist it up a little bit and going to cross this existing one over. It's going to be a little tricky. And just kind of wrap them around each other like so. Then before I put in my ponytail to secure it, I'm just going to come and just kind of tug on this part a little bit to bunch it up because these tend to get a little poofy anyway. So this just kind of covers it, makes it look a little more uniform, gives it a little bit of a looser look. I'm also going to come and pull on these twists and I'm twisting or pulling on the top part of the twists, not underneath.
Okay, once you've got it where you like it, I'm just gonna take a, a big hair tie. I'm gonna come up close to her head and I'm just gonna secure that in. Not trying not to move that too much. Like so. Then, because I want this to look really cute, I'm gonna take my topsy tail and I'm gonna grab a little piece of hair from the back of her ponytail. And I'm gonna wrap it around to cover the elastic. Just once or twice. And I'll stick my topsy tail down in the middle of the ponytail. Pull this hair through. And then just tug that down through the middle, like so. And that is our finished hair.